Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. Yes, we are a bit behind, but it's okay. We have tons of new videos coming up for you guys. I also want to give you guys a quick update for those of you guys that like to shop on our online store. There is tons of new product that has been restocked. A lot of your favorites, the Lilith soap, for example, the Handsome Devil soap, as well as the Florida soap, Money Bar soap. We have all of that online. Uh, as well as the candles. These are specific candles depending on what you're looking for. Uh, could be court case, could be relationships, partnerships, finances, money, etc. They are all prepared and done through ceremonial rites to empower and strengthen the candles itself, as well as a lot of your favorite oils. You'll be able to find all of that online as well as um, you'll be able to put in orders for specific spell works. These are personalized spell works as well as consultations, readings, all of that you'll be able to find on our store. Find the link on the description um, box below, as well as at the end of every video. All right, my lovelies, let's get into your reading Capricorn. How are you guys doing? Let's see what's, what you can expect for this month of March 2022. Also, for those of you guys, if you guys come across fake profiles, please, please, please report them. I have tons of people, you know, pretending to be me, charging clients, people that are assuming or under the impression that it's me they're talking to when in fact they're not. If um, if you guys have been coming to me for a while, you know what my links are. For those of you guys that are unsure, double check here on my YouTube channel. I have all my social medias. All right, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Spirit guides, what are the messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this month of March 2022? Please give us communication, element of air. Give us finances and career, element of earth. Give us the challenge, element of fire, relationships and partnerships, element of water and spirits, general energy for this month. Capricorn, sun, moon, rising, Venus. All right, let's get into it. First card here, Capricorn, you have the princess of cups. So a lot of loving energy for some of you guys. Uh, you are sparking someone's interest, uh, maybe looking at you from a distance. Um, I do feel like in the month of March, they will either be revealing feelings or revealing themselves to you. Uh, this could be for those of you guys that are single, but this can also be those of you guys that are currently dealing with other people. You may surprisingly find out that there is someone that is currently crushing on you, Capricorn. All right, when we're talking about communications, you have the nine of wands. So you've exhausted yourself trying to express or try to open up, trying to see or allow people to see your point of view. I feel like there's going to be a little bit of a challenge here for the month of March in regards to communication. You may be feeling a little bit closed off or like you're not wanting to deal with any fuckery. Um, but I feel like the reason for it is because you kind of had to explain yourself on multiple times or multiple occasions. And at this point, you're kind of over it, Capricorn. Now, in regards to your finances and career, we have the Ace of Cups. So definitely being reciprocated in regards to your finances and career. This is um, superiors, people that are working around you that are really seeing the hard work and determination that you put in your work ethic. And the Ace of Cups can also represent um, someone giving you an opportunity, whether it's in your business, whether it's uh, if you yourself are self-employed. This could be an idea that that's going to bring to you a lot of a lot of opportunities. It's going to open up a lot of doors. Um, specifically for some of you guys, what I'm hearing is I feel like power is going to be bestowed upon you, and this could be either someone a superior, someone of a higher position putting in a good word for you, Capricorn. Um, and I feel like it's in a very loving, nurturing way. So for some of you guys, this could be a father figure. For others of you, it could be a, a feminine energy, um, female energy that is putting in a good word for you or that is making you shine. Um, and I feel like they don't really need to make you shine. It has more to do with uh, them speaking about you that draws in superiors' attention to the work that you're doing. Uh, so this is definitely a good time to either request a higher payment, request a raise. That's if you don't receive an unexpected raise for this month, Capricorn. Now, when we're talking about the challenge here, we have the lover's card. You may be dealing with a Gemini. Uh, for some of you guys, I do see fire and water here as well. However, with the lovers as a challenge, what they're telling you is you need to be more concise in regards to the decisions you make, Capricorn. 
for this month of March. So my advice to you is don't rush into making any um, irrational decisions. This is specifically having to do with your finances, with loans, uh, with paperwork, any type of legal paperwork or anything that has to do with changing um, the current situation or circumstance. So what I mean by that, for some of you guys, this could be as an example, if they're giving you the opportunity uh, to make more money in a different position, but it's going to take for you to relocate or it's going to take you to a different location, um, try to analyze everything from different perspectives. Is it what they're willing to pay you or is it what they're wanting to pay you worth you, let's just say, commuting? Um, gas is very expensive right now. So again, it's about not making rational decisions. Take your time when making these decisions for this month of March. And when it comes to relationships, we have the Ace of Swords. So again, like I said, I feel like there's a lot of revelations that are going to be unfolding for you Capricorns. I feel that for some of you guys, this could be finding out that someone is very interested in you and wanting to offer you some type of love gesture. For others of you, it could be a person that has been having their eye on you that out of nowhere and out of the blue invites you for a dinner date or something that is very spontaneous and unexpected. But I feel that that's their way of opening up or that's their way to uh, find the courage to open up to you and let you know that they are interested in you. Um, I see a lot of opportunity here for love and romance for you guys. I feel that March, April, and May are going to be very, very good for you guys, especially when we're talking about uh, relationships and partnerships, as I see a lot of people uh, drawing in or, or coming towards you. You're uh, a bit of a magnet right now, Capricorn. That's if you're not already experiencing that, a lot of turning of heads. So my advice to you is take all those opportunities. I want to wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.